Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with my patient and we're working on teeth numbers uh, 20 and 21. Uh, we just finished the tooth preparation, decay removal, and we sealed our, um, our tooth now with the Dentin bonding agent. We're going to go ahead and place our composite tight band. I like the, gr the Garrison uh, company. They make a very nice tapered band. There are others on the market. Certainly I like this one. Now I'm going to apply an Almar wedge. It's a green plastic wedge. We'll try it from the lingual. If not, we'll come from the facial aspect. See if I can go ahead and get that all the way inserted. And we're going to get some separation here in the adjacent crown and to nice and tight in there like that. The tighter the better. We're going to dry that off because we've got a little bit of percolation going on. So we'll just get that get that out of there. Perfect. Now take a good look all the way down. Make sure you got a good seal. That right, looks great. Now we'll put our clamp in place. Again, uh, this is the Garrison clamp. It's the original clamp. We'll try to get behind the wedge if you can. That'll be great because you can get the best of both worlds. Get a good seal and good contour. Double check it, especially internally. Now, burnish, 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 burnish. I'm going to get a good Hollenbeck number seven. And we're just going to go ahead and burnish, burnish, burnish the contact area, not on the marginal ridge, but in the contact area. OK, so go below the ridge. You'll see it. You'll feel it. And that little depression right there, that's your contact area. Create it. Make sure you've got both width and height to it. So you want the patient not to catch chicken or any other foods that will stick in an area. You want that all clear. All right, nice and tight. That looks great. We'll go right in with our flowable. I like the posterior flowable. Just a small amount in the gingival area. I don't need a whole lot. Uh, maybe we can plug some of these small little pits with the same material. Now I like to use an endo file for some of this. So I just want to make sure I'm not trapping air. So I just take a number 10 file. So that's all we use it for. Just making sure we don't trap air. I run that in there thoroughly. Let's make sure. Go ahead and rub that in the small little pits as well and look very closely. And you're looking for air uh, here as well. Now you don't want to create air either, so leave the tip in there and wiggle it. There. Okay. And we'll go with our first layer. It's going to be up against the distal wall. So that's the first one. We'll get another piece, please. I'm going to go right up against the distal wall. We're going to create the distal wall and marginal ridge first uh, for tooth number 20. All right, just kind of push that down in there. And then we'll get another piece. pushing it up against the wall and I'm also pushing it down a little bit so you get a little bit of and some of this flowable acts like a good lubricant you know for the area so we need another piece I need a transfer instrument So you can see how we're developing that wall and it's coming above the plane of occlusion now. So we're going to go back in there and just going to add a little bit more, give it some bulk up against this buckle, up against the buckle aspect. So I'm building in to the undermined area of the enamel on the buckle wall. 
of the prep, and I'll show you that in a, in a second. Coming right down, I'm going to add a little bit to the lingual wall. Alright, so here comes my wing lingual addition. Okay. Now I might use a micro brush at this point. Let me get rid of that little bit of lint in there and wipe. Alright, so we're going to do this in layers. Uh, check, excuse me, uh, check with the Uh, I just push that in place. I'll take the Holland back back. Now we're going to make our additions. I need more material. We're going to go ahead and add to tooth number 21. This one I just need to pull a little bit, like right in. Oh, 21 here, here. Oh, we'll take care of that. Give that back to you. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the, the toe of the instrument and just pushing it in there. You'll see some of the the flowable jump out. And I'm going to push a little bit the next door into that little spot. And you'll see the flowable jump out of there too. Alright, so then we're going to use a plugger. I need a smaller plugger if possible. Okay. And we're going to move this right over here. Put that right in there. Okay, I'm going to take an acorn instrument and borrow it from the amalgam world. We use it with composite. And I'll need a little more material, small amount. This tip is perfect for putting that anatomy back in to the tooth. And we'll clean off the excess. So it's a small little spot right here. And we'll use the plugger for that. Now, we could easily just take this excess and instead of tossing it, we can go right up underneath on this side and just pack it in there. So in essence, what we're creating is a class one uh, preparation now to fill after we... I'll go in there now and just take care of some excess with the small micro brush. I'll do a quick sweep with that, so we'll do a sweep and a wipe, sweep, wipe type of thing. A lot of it comes off the marginal ridge. There's some on the lingual. We'll wipe. Mostly marginal ridges, I don't want to see any on there. And then an explorer to double check everything. All right, so we're doing this with the light turned almost all the way down. It's like maybe one or two watts at the most. So we're not curing the material. We're just working under extremely low light so we don't get any premature setting. And we don't have to use any of the filters as well. been doing it like this for years. And uh, as long as you have it turned all the way down, about one watt, you're okay. All right. That one's done. Now, perfect time to go ahead and cure that. So we know there's going to be a lot of trimming on this wall, but that's okay. No big deal. Cure for 20. Yeah. 
And we're coming up about a half an hour into a little more than a half an hour into treatment uh, as far as recordings concerned. About 10 minutes into it here, we recorded about 20 minutes of the first part of it. Now we can take a bulk quantity, fill up the deepest portion of the box, cure it, and then fill the rest up all the way to the occlusal surface. And then uh, we'll do one more segment on polishing, and we'll be done, ready to check bite. I'll go right to a plugger. There we go. We can go ahead and light cure that now. This is an LED light, so we are going a little bit beyond the 20 seconds. That's okay. We're making sure everything is cured properly. We'll go ahead with our next bulk. Now we go in there, fill this all up. We'll go in right with our packing and or um, plugger condenser. And I'll go right to the next piece. I can go in. And next instrument. Acorn. All right, so now you want to create your anatomy. So we got a we got a an H or it's going to be a Y anatomy here, so you're going to come up Central pit right there, lingual groove. Come right down to the distal, create that um, little fossa, the distal fossa. Uh, different from the first bicuspid. Now I'll use a an explorer. First bicuspid has two distinct pits. Here you've got fossas and lingual groove. Uh, it's right in the middle of the tooth versus toward the, the mesial. So we'll just pull it. Just pull it a little bit, not the tooth. <laughs> Pulling the material away from the margin now. Um, there we go. And just use a nice feather touch to that. Again, that marginal ridge is up above the occlusion. We'll be trimming that all the way back down. Just want to use it as a scaffold. I'm going to go right back to that uh, acorn instrument again. And we'll just finish our central groove area. That looks great. And we can go ahead and get that cured. First thing I'm going to need is a clamp holder. And then I'm going to go right to uh, cotton pliers and then a hemostat. And then we're going to light cure it, buckle and lingual. And then after that, we'll start our small, fine football diamond. That's going to come next. So I'm kind of calling all these things out for my assistants here helping out. I have Jen, my assistant, help me out. And I have Paul, one of my apprenticeship students uh, also passing a few things to me here. He's the one of the students at a Florida Atlantic University uh, mentorship program. There we are. We'll go, go ahead and light cure that next step. All right, so we do a buckle lingual now. See where the, 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 the matrix band was? We want to cure that area that's on. I had a good feeling when I took that band off that it had a nice contact to it and I don't anticipate anything but 
uh, a really good contact in that area. Uh, as the last thing you want is, you know, Doc, I f ate last night, but I caught food in between my teeth, and, you know, that's the last thing you want to hear. You want to hear that everything's fine, and bite's good, and everything's good. So we're going to go ahead and scale the area next. I'll turn up the light for this. And I think this is a good time to catch you on the next segment. We're going to go ahead and scale and polish, and we'll see you uh, next time. Take care.